YouTube, what's going on? Back with another video. So today we have another $100 mystery box from Toy USA. Um, like I mentioned in the other video, they had a Muppets and Disney theme. That's why I bought these boxes. Um, I try to stick to the boxes with some pops that I saw in their promo picture that I'd like to have in my collection. Just so I'm not getting a whole lot of things I don't want. Shooting for the grails and let's see if we got one. Here we go. Alright guys, so before we get into this box, please smash that like button down below. Let me know you guys are enjoying these videos, and as always, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button down below and hit the bell notification so you're updated to my new videos as soon as I post one. So like I said, this was a Toy USA $100 mystery box. Um, they posted it on their Instagram. Um, if you guys are ever looking to get any boxes from Toy USA, they always post them on their Instagram. Um, and you know, they'll have them available on there. You can post, purchase it through their website. Um, if you're not following me on Instagram, hit me up on Instagram as well. And uh, maybe I'll post it as well if they have them live. But this was $100. It was four pops per box. And uh, like I said, there was a few things I saw um, on there. A few Muppets pops, um, Snow. Um, the Mahana, Hana guy, um, and then Disney Pops, I saw Cherbinog, and um, I think it was Sorcerer Mickey, an old one. I definitely want to have those Fantasia Pops in my collection. So, let's see how we do. There is a single protector in here. So, the last one I had from Toy USA, I had two protectors. The Pops were, you know, the Pops were decently uh, valued. But it wasn't a huge grail. It wasn't one of those grails in their pictures. Um, maybe the Mike or the uh, Freddy Krueger might have been, but that rat thing definitely wasn't. So let's see what's in here. We'll do the ones out of protector first and see how we do. First pop is of course a Star Wars one. Uh, so starting off this with Han Solo from Star Wars. This is from uh, the from the new film. Oh, The Force Awakens. I thought they had the movie. Thought the movie was called from the, the new film for a second. Um, so this is the Force Awakens Han Solo. It's not like the old one. This is from the new movie. Um, not much more I can say about it. Han Solo is a cool guy, character. I haven't seen the um, the new movie, this one yet, with Han Solo and Leia in it. Um, you see those bags and those eyes. It's like the older version of him. Uh, I guess he just made a cameo in the movie. I don't know. Drop down in the comment section below if you guys saw it, and if it's any good, then let me know as well. Um, like I said, I saw the first new Star Wars movie, um, I forget what it's called now, Rogue One, um, but I haven't seen this one yet, have to check it out. First pop is Han Solo. Alright, hopefully there's not more Star Wars ones in here. Hopefully that was the one and only. So here's the second pop. <laughs> I just talked uh, Jyn Erso up, huh? So this is the young Jyn Erso from Rogue One. Um, I do remember her. Um, this isn't really a pop that I collect. I don't collect the Star Wars ones. Um, I did go into a comic book shop the other day and I saw the old Greedo pop. Um, I should have got it. I might go back and get it if it's still there. Um, but I do like Greedo. I want the Darth Maul, Qui Con, Jar Jar, the older ones. But these new movies, I just don't really relate to them as much because I done, didn't grow up with them. I don't really remember the characters. Um, but there you go. Jen Airso, number two pop. Um, in this Toy USA box. So far, these are both commons, which is a good thing, because um, you guys have heard me mention before that most times, if there's a something in Protector here, and it's all commons, that means it's gotta be good, because it's a $100 box, and they have to make their value up with most likely one pop. So, this next pop is the co is a common that's not highly valued. That one in Protector's gonna be pretty good. So let's see how we do. Third pop. Oh, all right. So this is Princess Leia. This is the old Princess Leia. Um, this is the blue series box. I'm pretty sure these are the older uh, retired ones. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is an old one. This is a series one uh, Funko Pop from Star Wars right there. That's the whole set right there. That's that Greedo I was talking about. Definitely want to have that in the collection at some point. That Chewbacca's not bad looking either. And you know, Yoda's pretty cool too. So like I said, the old ones are cool. I'd much rather have that Han Solo than the one down there. Um, drop down in the comment section below what you guys like more. Um, but yeah, this Leia is pretty cool. I probably will keep this one. Um, I think um, 
correct me if I'm wrong, but I think at some point Star Wars changed the blue lettering over to black. Because uh, I don't think these pops are vaulted, but I think they re-released them as um, a different color box. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm, I know they did something like that. But there you go. The next pop is the Princess Leia uh, Star Wars Series 1 pop. So it looks like a Star Wars theme is going for here. So maybe the last one was, uh, if you guys haven't watched that video, check it out. But the last one had like a horror theme. Um, this one seems like it's having a Star Wars theme. So maybe, I don't remember the picture had any Star Wars grails, but maybe Jar Jar or something's in here. So let's see. We'll see uh, what this grail is. It's pretty heavy. So that's, maybe it's Cherbinog. Let's see. Ah, oh! Oh, all right. Wow. So I don't normally get hype like that when I see stuff. You guys always get on me because I'm not hype when I pull like Grail stuff. That's because I don't always know. I don't really know what the values are. Um, because I don't edit. When I edit, uh, when I find out the prices, see, I'm losing my words right now. But when I find out, uh, I find out how much they're worth when I edit them. This one I've been looking for. This is the genie. Freddy right there. It's limited to 450 pieces from San Diego Comic-Con. You have the San Diego Comic-Con sticker right there. I didn't know this was in there. Wow. So these were a damaged Funko Pop mystery box. There's a little bit of damage right there. But you know, you guys know I don't care about that at all. Wow. All right. So this is probably the hype as you guys have ever seen me on a YouTube channel or a YouTube video for a grail. I get like this excited for for commons more than I get excited for grails. I don't know how much this one's worth, um, but it's a limited edition one I thought I'd never get, and it's a Disney themed one. Um, I'm not huge on the Freddy Funkos, um, but this one I had to have. I did want that Venom one as well, but I don't see myself ever getting that one because they're pretty expensive. But yeah, I did pretty well with this box. This is not going anywhere. It's staying right in my collection. All right, so the final pop is the Genie Freddy Franco from Freaky Tiki Fun Days 2019. All right, guys, so I think I did really, really well. Drop down in the comment section when what your favorite one was. I think due to my reaction, you guys know which one I like best. Um, here's the value as far as how I did with the total of uh, the Funko Pops. Uh, if you have not already smashed the like button down below, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, uh, so you're updated to more videos just like this. Hopefully I'll pull some more grails. And thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. It means a whole lot to me. And I do appreciate reading your comments. And I try to get back to each and every one of them. And uh, thanks so much. I appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.